Hi, right, welcome back. So on the last episode of Basic Style X7, we talked about power, about three-phase power, the American rotary phase converter, and how to power on and power up the machine. So as promised, this week in, on episode two, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the Siemens controller. Primarily, how to back it up. Let's get into it. Before we back up the system, let's go ahead and update the date and time for the mill. So that'll be reflected in the system backup. So to do that, we are going to press the shift key and the system alarm key at the same time. That brings us up to the date and time settings. Uh, this is navigable by pressing the tab key, like so, and then entering the data as necessary. I've already updated mine. You can see that I'm film filming this the day after St. Patrick's Day. And it's 19... 100 hours here, 1918. Once you're done updating your time, press OK. Now I'm going to back out of this menu by hitting this caret up symbol. And now I'm back into the, into the uh, original menu that we started with. And as a reminder, we pressed shift system alarm to get this menu. Now the field is actually hidden now because we haven't input our password. Once we enter our, uh, the password assigned to the mill, or the password you've, you've created, these extra fields and soft buttons will be populated and we'll be able to back up the mill. I'll go ahead and, and set my password, input my password now by pressing set password. Okay, I've got my password entered. A bit about this, this keypad here. The symbol centered go in automatically. If you want to get the symbols in the corner, you have to press and hold shift and then hit that button to get that symbol. All right, so I've got my password entered. I'm going to hit accept. Okay, now all of these other fields have populated. So now to back up this mill, I want to go to save data. Press this soft key here. All right, it says, do you want to save the data? Yes, OK, no, press cancel. I'm going to hit OK. Now, this is, this is for the internal save. OK, data being saved, do not operate or switch off. No problem. OK, I went ahead and backed up the system on the system. So the last step is we are going to back up the data on a USB stick. So let me get a US, USB thumbstick. Here we are. Go ahead and put it in the USB port. Voila. Instead of pressing save data, like we did for the internal backup, we're going to press archive here. And then you have a series of options which you can navigate with your up and down arrows. And as you can see, it's, the note will change based off of what you are highlighting. In our case, we are going to select Create Startup Archive and press OK. I'm going to arrow down and select USB and then I'm going to click this input button to select my storage path as, U, as USB. Now I've already done this once before, so you can see the, the uh, arc startup. But I'm going to do it again. And, I, and actually, this is an interesting point. When I did this originally, I did the archive, and you can see that the date was April 10th, 2011. That was the default date that the mill arrived with. After the fact, I changed the date and time. So let's go ahead and select this folder, do an update, and see what happens. Do I want to override it? Okay, so this says the target G arc startup dot arc already exists. Do you want to override it? I'm going to hit OK. 
archive creator, Mac Musterman. Thanks, Max. Let's let's change this. Let's change this to oh, well, Max Power would be cool. Let's play. <laughs> let's change this to me. I'm the archive creator. So we got G. Now where on earth is A? A. R. O. N. Space. And my last name, Power. Pow W. E R. Where's the E? Whew. This is uh, this is harder than texting on an old Nokia where you had to hit the numbers multiple times. All right, so M Max Musterman was replaced with me, Garen Power. I'm the arcade creator. Okay. All right, here we go. Cue elevator music. Now this is in real time, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is taken, this is blinding. This is USB 1.0 at its finest. Okay, and we did it. With the backup archive created on the thumb drive, I'm gonna hit cancel to get out of this menu. And then I'm going to hit machine to get back to my home screen. Now, if I want to, let's say I wanna access or I look at the, at the file that's on my USB thumb drive, a little bonus information for, for you greenhorns out there like me. Let's say that we wanna look at the files on our USB drive, either to verify that our archive is here or to access a program that we want to, you know, copy and bring onto the hard drive on the mill. First, we would click Program Manager here, which boots up to NC, which is the files here on, the, on your local directory. And then we would simply hit USB. And there you go. There's our archive startup. Absolutely imperative to do this when you first get your mill. So there you have it. We set up the, the date and time and we backed up the mill, uh, both internally and externally on a, on a thumb drive. Uh, if, you want to more, if you want to know where I got that information or learn more about this mill, check out their manual. It's both available in, in book form and digitally. Um, <laughs> Page 69 goes over setting the date and time, and 79. Uh, go to page 79 for uh, a reminder on how to back up your mill. Uh, as ever, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you want, if you want to know something specific about this mill that that falls in line with the uh, you know this basic series, please hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what you'd like me to go over. Um, Alternatively, if you want to challenge me to learn how to do something that I don't know how to do yet, please do. Write them in the comments below. Let, let me, you know, guide my journey. Help me learn this stuff. I mean, there's no rush, but I'm, I'm eager to learn more and do more and eventually start making some chips. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.